So our next step then um, would be after registering with the NCAA Eligibility Center and reviewing the academic requirements and watching this presentation, which will be available for free for all student athletes, is to remember to review the provincial information that I just went over on the last slide, um, which can be found in the link here, as well as reviewing your province's list of approved core courses. Um, I'd also recommend downloading again that guide to the college bound student athlete that I mentioned. We issue a new one every July or August, but in that you will find, um, I think it's around page 14 or so, you will find a division, it's page 21 this year because it gets longer every year, but you'll find a division one and two work sheet which is something great if you um, need to kind of do a self-assessment of your transcripts and find out how many core course credits that you are at maybe after year nine or year ten um, you'll be sure to have your transcript in front of you have your list of core courses that are approved for your province in front of you and then have that pdf for your province that helps you with the credit values so that you know what courses um, are worth what credits and once you know that then you can fill the information in on this worksheet and this will help you calculate your GPA and the number of core course credits that you have.